welcome back. It's Wednesday, the 24th, is it 4th? I don't know, whatever it is. This, this is a terrible angle. Um, it's about half past six. And it's about time I started getting up because I've got quite a bit to do this morning. Um, I'm on a live with Caroline at half past ten, so I need to make myself look presentable. I've got um, I've got to get some shopping. Oh, I've got dog hairs on my face, and um, I need to pack a couple of orders. And she'll want to go out at some point, whether that's before or after Caroline, I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to get myself. It's eight o'clock. I'm going to Sainsbury's before it gets busy. They're drilling outside. Lovely start to the day. Um, wouldn't mind, but they've been there since middle of January. It's now end of March. They still haven't finished. So it's about 25 to nine. I've done Sainsbury's shop and um, you're on an angle. I'll just slightly tilt my head, that's better. Uh, I've done the Sainsbury's shop, put that away. And now I'm in the shop because I've got two orders to pack. Um, so I'll say a couple of thank yous in a minute. Uh, big thank you to Mike who emailed me and suggested that um, I get share buttons, buttons, I don't know if that's the right word, from my website. So on the products, there is now the option to share to Facebook, Twitter, I think. Uh, I think that was it, I think it was just the two. Um, so thank you very much for that. That hopefully is done, Mike, if you have a look and check it out. Um, I did say to my son to see if he could do a copy link one so that people could like copy the link and put it on something, but I don't know if he worked that out yet. Um, right, I'm gonna get these orders together and packed into the post office. So peaceful. Don't know what they're doing, but they're making such a racket outside, but they do seem to be filling in the holes. So hopefully, if they get that done, they're only two months late finishing it. Um, and my iPad won't work, I don't know why. Sorry, you shouldn't pull that face. I've got my iPad working, finally. So I need to say um, two thank yous to, um, one to Deborah and one to Bev. Thank you very much for your orders. I am packing them now and I'll take them to the post office in a bit. The others that came through before I sent yesterday, I just haven't marked them off as completed on the website. So I will do that in a little while as well. Back again, what time is it now? It is about 20 to 12. Done the live stream with Caroline. That all went really well. I enjoyed it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's done. I'm just marking off the orders and putting on tracking numbers and things like that for the website. And then I think I will go out and get some more exercise. Good morning again. It's Thursday, the whatever's 25th. Is it 25th? I don't know. Um, yesterday's vlog just sort of petered out. I didn't have anything else to say. So that kind of just, you know, that's life at the moment, isn't it? And to be fair, I don't have any plans today. I'm just going to go out, take Jenny out and do some, try and get some steps in and, um, and then see how the day goes. vloggy I'm sorry it's about half past 12 Caroline's just gonna come on live so I'm gonna uh, watch that and keep the trolls at bay um, I don't think there's been many uh, I had a walk I did a really good walk I talked about it on the phone and then I got back and a friend of mine was I met outside and we were just talking outside and we talked for I don't know half an hour three quarters of an hour when I walked away, I felt absolutely physically exhausted. Like, I can't deal with this much interaction. <laughs> just, so, and then I had another phone call, I had to deal with that. And I was just like, I don't want to talk to anybody now. I can't talk to anybody, my brain is fried. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried about 
getting back to work, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, and then, very really quick, um, email from the school came yesterday. My daughter's in the sixth form at school, but they've obviously got me on the mailing list for everybody at school, parents of kids at school, um, saying about, they're really impressed with how the kids have dealt with coming back to school, blah, 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 but uniform. Uniform standards aren't up to scratch and girls' skirts need to be this long and um, all the shops are going to be open on April the 12th so they expect parents to go out and buy them new uniform um, so that after Easter they're all in the appropriate uniform. I just found it incredible because, one, I know how quick kids grow so they want them to buy new uniform now for one term then they'll have summer holidays to grow out of it again when everybody's, one, in a pandemic, two, financially strapped for money. I just can't see how it's the most important thing. And I've actually sent a, uh, an email back, even though it does not apply to me in any way. I just found it incredible, incredible that they think that school uniform is a priority in this. Uh, um, my head is just like, what the hell? Who wrote this? But... You know, so I had a reply from the school, um, basically saying, "Oh, sorry, you got the email. It wasn't meant for you. Um, unfortunately, we we're all too aware of the impact of the pandemic and are spending huge amounts of time supporting students and their families with what has gone on over the past year." Okay, yeah, we do believe school uniform is an important part of school life. I hope that parents know us well enough to approach us if there are any problems around finance or availability. We have been incredibly lenient since students came back after lockdown, but we do feel Easter is the time to raise the bar once again, once the shops reopened. Please be reassured that we will be sensitive in our dealing with students about this matter. I don't know about you, but um, we're not. We would never be classed as struggling financially, but when you've not had any income for a long time and... Uh, you've got, say, at one point I had three kids at school. Uniforms would have really stretched. The big September used to cost us an absolute fortune buying all the kids' uniforms. Um, and to have to do that at this point would have been a real stretch. I don't think, and I wouldn't want to approach the school and say, actually, I can't afford it. And I would imagine a lot of people wouldn't want to do that as well. So I think they're already being insensitive, in my opinion. But there you go. We're all, we're all different. I guess I can't assume that my opinion is right. I'm going to sign off now, just because I've got nothing else happening today to vlog. So take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. <laughs>